Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so excited to start this this video. Uh, like I said last time, we got six boxes that are two years old. Uh, I wrapped them up last Christmas. Yeah, well, not not last Christmas, but Christmas of 2020. Um, well, I didn't wrap them up, but I, I marked them down, so marked down the date. But this box, I, I did open up some rolls until I found my first wee penny. That's what I just showed you guys. So, this box wasn't looking that promising, but we're going to get right into it. And hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, bringing you back in. And as you can see, I'm still struggling with <laughs> Taking the coins out of the rolls, but I was struggling and that just happened. A little stack came out and a little wheat penny came out. Still haven't seen the bait, but we're gonna watch it together. One, two, three. It's 1948D. That was my second roll, so we're we're going pretty good actually. I got a stack of 15 coppers on that last roll, so stay tuned. Okay guys, we're a little bit more than halfway through the box and we got our third wheat penny. I saw a date sticking out right here. 1945S I believe. So, really sick guys. 1945S. Hey guys, this box isn't doing so hot. We got two rolls left, but anyways, it's a week many stick out. But before we did find a Canadian a few rolls ago, anyways, uh, where did it go? So, uh, there it is. Where's a week many? It does look slicker, guys. Looks a little bit slicker. Let's see what date we got. <gasps> 1919 D Wow guys, that's an awesome old date more than 100 years old That is a nice find really happy about that All right guys tiny wrap up on that box we got two Canadians and we got five wee pennies we got a 1919 D 1945s 1948D, 1951D, and a 1952D. Alright guys, I also forgot to talk about the copper coins. I found uh, a little bit more than 8 on average per roll, which is pretty good. Well, there was 421 coppers, so that was a good copper box. Alright guys, here's a new box. As you can see, it's still sealed. So we're gonna we're gonna open up live here. Uh, don't, I don't know where my knife went, so I'm just gonna have to have patience with me. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Let's see what we got in here, guys. Circulated box. We got a copper. Under here, I'm not sure what it's from. It's 70s. And there's one here too. And the 70s as well. I'm gonna paint it. Paint it quite right there. And some junk right here. Well, anyways, I'll, I'll flip them over and get it back to you. Guys, we were flipping over the enders, and look what we found. 
1942. So yeah, that's pretty sick, guys. Anyways, I'll keep flipping them over and see if we got anything else. Alright, guys, I was pulling out the enders. Well, not the enders, the, uh, the sides. And I saw an old edge. Look, guys. 1930D or something like that. We're going to pull it out right now. See what it is. Yeah. What we got here? 1930D, I believe. That is sweet, guys. Pre-40s. That is so awesome. Alright guys, so that wheat penny in that 1930D was on roll 3, and here's the ender. This is roll um, 6, and now we're on roll 6, so we're going to get this ender open live. I always like to open it on the other side first, so that, so that we don't damage the wheat penny. But, Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna open this right here. Yeah, cool. So here we got a penny. 1942 Philadelphia. Nice. So, let's see what else we got in here. It's looking like a good box. Another copper. Um, cool guys. Uh, we'll keep searching and I'll get you guys into the next one. Something I did want to point out to you guys is the newest coin, obviously, in these box boxes out of the 2020 these Obviously, there's not really any Philadelphia speakers in Utah, but yeah. Guys, we are on roll number 9, and this box is looking really consistent and really good. We got another Wee Penny. Saw the date sticking out, looked at it. It's a 1952S, guys. That is sweet. So we'll keep going, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. Okay, guys. Look at that. So we're going through the box, and... I saw the edge, but I didn't believe it, so I just put flat, flattened them out. Look what I saw, guys. Steel scent. 1943. <laughs> that is so awesome, guys. Steel scent. You don't find these every day, so that is awesome. This is only the second one I've found in a box of pennies, so that is awesome, guys. Anyways, I'll keep you tuned for the next find, but I don't think there's anything else in this roll, so I'll let you guys know when I find something else. Double wee penny roll, guys. 1947D. That is sweet. Awesome, guys. Um, that is pretty sick. Alright, guys. We're on roll 42 after finding that steel penny. And I spot a wee penny, so we're gonna see the date live. Here it is. Looks a little bit warm, but not too much. 50 Philadelphia. Pretty sweet, guys. Uh, I believe that's our seventh wheat penny, so we're we're doing pretty good. Uh, it's a better, a little bit better than average for my boxes, especially to have a 
steel pen. Alright guys, we're just going to do a quick wrap up on the second box that we did. We got seven wee pennies, um, three Canadians, a couple shiny uh, ones in 2009s. But yeah, so the wee pennies we found at 1930D, 1942, 1943 Steel Send, 1947D, 1950 Philadelphia, 1952D, and a 1952-57D. So, that was a pretty good box, guys. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, um, hope you liked it. I'm probably going to wrap up the video here and make another video about the boxes of nickels and the other two boxes of pennies. So, hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting and Merry Christmas.